In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... guilty. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Farina is... No, the Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Isn't that correct, then? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty to be punished via the death sentence. Uh, the... the death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? What an unexpected twist. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences, is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Yeah! Even Fauché wasn't sentenced to death by the Oratrice! You know, the real evil mastermind behind the serial disappearances case! Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? <gasps> oh, what's happening with the Oratrice? I believe... It is preparing to carry out the death sentence. 